to Dr. Nzumbi Jaja, who joined us uh, from the Project Management Global Institute, the board member. And I also want to acknowledge Mrs. Tankita Chant Wilson. She is the General Manager, Grace and Staff Community Development Foundation. So welcome, uh, Mrs. Wilson. Oh, thank you for that. So Mr. Omar Frith, De Deputy Executive Director, Social Development Commission. Welcome, sir. Welcome. All right, so at this time we want, of course, our guests, our specially invited guests to come and greet our audience and just acknowledge the, the efforts and acknowledge the, the program overall that we are, you know, all participating in. So, Mr. Fritt, I know you, you, you just came in, but I'm going to pick on you. So you're first on my list. <laughs> yes, that's what happened when, you know, you're stepping late. So, Mr. Fritt, uh, we'll bring greetings. Make welcome, Mr. Fritt. <laughs> I'm going to perhaps assume that all protocols were already observed in my absence. So permit me to just say good morning, everyone. So I have been rewarded for coming late. That's quite unusual. <laughs> Let me, on behalf of the Social Development Commission, of course, commend the PIOJ and all the other members who have collaborated to make this project a possibility. But my greetings this morning will be most centered around our participants, so don't get jealous. But uh, allow me to you know, acknowledge the absence of our executive director, Dr. Duane Vernon, who also sends his greetings. And as we speak of the interagency network, we know that all of us here is the choir, so I'm not even going to define that to preach to you. But I just want to say to our participants, there are three things I want to share with you from both the SDC's perspective and from my point of view that participation and collaboration speaks to three key things, and I don't want you to forget those three things. The first one is democracy, and this is something I'm passionate about. We just want to remind you, our young people, that democracy is not just your right to exercise your franchise. That's excellent. It is great to have an opportunity to cast a ballot once every four or five years, but the ultimate show of democracy is in your ability to determine that you can contribute to the future and destiny of your communities. And our democracy must be demonstrated in the institutions that facilitate your development, facilitate your empowerment, so that you can have a voice. You have a voice, but your voice must be heard. And so when you are trained and you receive these various certifications, they are not just for show. They are giving you an opportunity to participate and define how you see development in your communities, how you see development in yourself, as an agent of change for this country. And ultimately, it allows you to ease back from the attitude of saying, when you see a problem in your community, oh, what am I going to do about this? Rather, we are going to say, what are we going to do? Because you are empowered, and you are part of a democratic institution. And that's what empowerment is about, and that's what the IAN is really about, bringing participation, including yours. And secondly, that segues into the other thing I want you to remember. Teamwork. We speak of collaboration and partnership in general. But one of my greatest mentors, John C. Maxwell, many of you may know him, a great writer, he speaks of the 17 indisputable laws of teamwork. And in it, he has what is called the law of significance, law number one. And he says, one is too small a number for greatness. Nothing great and nothing of significance has ever happened by one person. And I will add, nothing great and nothing of significance can ever happen by one institution. And this is why, for us, this is not just symbolic. It is the essence of making change. Significance will require teamwork. And as you become empowered, know that you are not just one, but you are one of many. And many of you might already know of the African proverb or term Ubuntu. I am because you are. 
And so as you are empowered, as you receive training, receive the input from these multi-sectoral approaches, know that you are one, one of many making a difference. And finally, leadership. We're not just leaders because we have titles and positions. You are leaders because you have an ability to go where no one has gone before and pave the way for others. And as you learn more and become stronger and better, again, I quote my mentor, ultimately, in the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, he says, where the law of buying is concerned, law number 14, people buy into the leader first and then the vision after. I share that with you, youngsters, for a reason. Sometimes we wonder how it is that we are so academically excellent as a country. How do we have such excellent ideas? We can make the most impressive PowerPoint presentations. We can write the most impressive projects. And sometimes we wonder, why is it that we're not getting the buy-in we need? Because ultimately, people are looking at us, not the programs, not the vision. So young, young, the younger ones who are here with us, please remember, as you receive formal training, as you receive inspiration, make a commitment that you will make a difference. You will be someone that an individual will want to buy into so that you can be authentic and share the vision of change. So that's my few cents on the participation that is here, uh, demonstrated in the multi-partners uh, multi, uh, here. And of course, all of us must work part to continue to show what leadership means. Enjoy the rest of the day, and we look forward to continued collaboration and particip participation with you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fritz. Indeed, leadership, teamwork, and democracy is definitely a part, an essential part of us making that change. So thank you very much for that, Mr. Fritz. So next we will ask Ms. Rihanna Wright, our director, Hart Regional Director, my regional director, that is, Hart NSTA, to bring greeting. Make welcome, Ms. Rihanna Wright. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rokoya. And I want to say to Mr. Frith, I'm going to try to speak like you without looking down on the speech that was provided. I think you have put us on the spot today. And you know we're going to try our best to, to keep up. So let me just continue also by saying, observing all protocols, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today for the Heart NSTA Trust is what we consider to be a beautiful union. Heart, we're in the business of empowering our human capital, but we can't do that without partnerships like these, whether they are small, medium size, or large. And this is what this partnership represents. We say to our youth, we will leave no one behind. Leaving no one behind means that we have to find them in their communities. And this is what this partnership represents. You know, we sit down and we wait on them to come to us because we believe that they need to be empowered. They need to be trained. They need to be certified and all of that. However, sometimes they need us to come to them. And this is what this has done. So we just want to say thank you to the PIOJ for including us. Thank you, Dr. Henry, <laughs> for including us. Um, and we are, we, are, we are delighted to be adding to this partnership by recruiting along with SDC, you know SDC's community, so we can't go in community without um, engaging SDC. We can't go in the communities without S engaging the CDC. So along with them, we recruit the young people, we provide the necessary core skills training, and we talk a lot about core skills training, and it is so important, especially in the 21st century, because a lot of times we provide the technical training, however, the life scope um, coping skills that our young people may need to really function 
in society is so critical. And a lot of time, whether they go on to be entrepreneurs or they go on to serve in companies, our employers will say, we are going to do some training. Training is very important. Certification is very important. But when they come, we want to ensure that they can function with other people. And that is why we believe core skills training is so important. We also believe that we have to provide that bridge between being unemployed, unengaged, and now being in a formal working space. And that is why we believe that training on the job is so important. Internship is so important. So you see how, why I would have said before that this is a beautiful union, because this is what the Heart NSTA Trust does. So when the PIOJ came to us and um, you know, pitched this partnership, I mean, we didn't even have to think about it, because, you know, this partnership was helping us to continue to fulfill our mandate. So we, provide, we continue to provide or to give the commitment that for as long as this partnership continues, or if there's a new partnership that provides this same kind of opportunity, the Heart NSTA Trust will be here. We'll be here to partner with you, our stakeholders, to ensure that we serve our young people because they are the future and our mandate is to ensure that we serve them to the best of our abilities. When we say we're public servants, we mean it. We really mean it because without us serving our, um, our public, you know, Jamaica can't realize, you know, what we set out, set out to realize. So congratulations to the entire team. Um, and we look forward to a beautiful and a successful partnership. Thank you so much. Yes, she did. Thank you, thank you for that, Ms. Wright. All right, before we, we move along, let me just pause to, to welcome the Deputy Parish Manager, Judith, Judith Taylor uh, from SDC. Welcome, Ms. Taylor. All right, so moving right, moving right along, we want to invite Colonel Rickman, National Coordinator, Hope Program, to bring greetings. Well, well um, quite a standard have, have been set between uh, Omar and Rayana. I won't even go there. I won't even pretend on that one. <laughs> Dr. Henry, Dr. Edwards, um, uh, Rihanna Wright, Omar Frith, Charmaine Brim, um, the, uh, Dr. Jaja, um, to all of the friends and the, uh, the uh, supporters, the partners in this uh, such an important initiative, which I think is going to take off even more. Um, and in particular, to the participants who are here today, uh, a very, very pleasant good morning. Um, so, I am particularly pleased uh, that we have 